Hello everyone. This time we are going to sculpt a cute little pig character. This will be a little fast video, so if you want to slow down or fast forward the video, then use the YouTube playback speed option. And due to some relocation problem, I was not able to make videos recently, but now that problem is kind of solved. So I will try to upload videos frequently. So join in. And if you want any help or have any doubt in the process followed in the video, you can comment on the comment box. And also you can directly message me on Instagram at the rate brown bear animation. I will try to resolve your doubts as soon as possible. And if you are new here on brown bear animation, first go through the channel and watch different videos. And then if you like the content, then consider supporting the channel. And now let's move to the cute pig character. First hide the light box, then go to the simple brush icon, choose a sphere and drag it on the canvas. Then edit mode, press T for the edit mode, then change the material and S key is for the draw size and choose the move brush by clicking B for the brush menu and make poly mesh 3D then adjust the shape of the pig head according to the reference then append a sphere for the body which will later become the shirt of the pig's body then adjust it and then append a cylinder for the nose of the pig and after that i will dynamesh it then adjust the shape of the nose because pig's nose is the most important part that is what he used to smell things and then move brush again for adjusting the forms of the head of the pig and nose also then I'm using clay builder brush for carving in the eye socket area and continuously applying, reapplying dynamesh. For carving in, you have to hold alt on your keyboard. For reapplying dynamesh, just hold control and drag on the empty area of the canvas with the dynamesh turned on. And I have appended a sphere for the eyeballs and do, I'm mirroring it by going to Z plugin, subtool master and mirror button. And then I'm adjusting the shape, overall head shape. With the changing resolution of Dynamesh, I am just creating the nose holes of the pig and I am continuously reapplying Dynamesh by holding control on the keyboard and just dragging on the empty of the canvas. Adjusting the overall forms by using Trim Dynamic Brush, flattening the shapes and after that I am using Damp Standard Brush for the, the edgy part of the eyes and then by default Move Brush and other Trim Dynamic Brush, I am just creating the shapes according to the reference and overall adjustment of the head for making it look cute. I'm just looking at the forms and making them more rounder. And here I, am app I have appended a sphere for the ears of the pig. And after that, I am just editing the shape by using move brush, clay builder brush and applying dynamic onto it. Then I'm creating some folds by clay builder brush. Then I have mirrored the other ear with the same Z plugin. And uh, I'm now creating mask for the eyelashes of the pig. And this process is same as if you have seen my other videos. Create a mask, then go to the extract option and then extract the mesh. After that, I am editing the shape by going on to the move brush or by using move brush, then trim dynamic brush for flattening the front shape. Similarly, I am creating the eyebrows, creating mask and extracting the mesh. Then after that, I have dynamized the body part, means the below shirt part. Then I am creating hands. For that, I have appended a cylinder and then I am editing it using move brush and apply dynamesh. Then I will mirror it to the other side by going to Z plugin, subtool master and mirror. Then adjust adjusted the shape. Then I'm again creating a mask onto the body part for creating the collars. I don't know it is a shirt or it is a t-shirt because this is this has been a very big confusion for me and I'm creating the shirt button by appending a cylinder then trim dynamic for 
creating the edges and again created creating the mask for the sleeves of the pig's shirt then extracting the mesh and i am adjusting it using move brush and smooth brush by holding shift you can activate the smooth brush then with applying dynamesh i have created the proper shape then i will get a mirror for the same and adjusting it using gizmo then after that i will be dynameshing the sleeves and the shirt together and this is the deformation option which you can go through or which you can look through when you go to my other videos or let me know in the comment section i will be sharing you the links in the i button also after this i will be doing the tail which was the most tricky part while sculpting this one then i have for that i have appended a plane or you can just use curve multitude brush for creating this type of curve and you can edit it until you have this dotted line turn on then for removing that dotted line you just have to hold alt and click on the mesh then you can edit it using move brush gizmo smooth brush etc and you can dynamesh it you can divide it like i am doing here and if you are getting any doubt or you are like feeling like that you don't understand this thing you just let me know in the comment section i will i will explain it to you and then from final adjustment of the forms then the retopology process with for which i am using zero mesh because i don't have to animate it in a good way so as for just presentation part i can remesh it by zero mesher i have other videos on the channel which will be explaining this zero mesh zero meshing part or let me know in the comment section so i have zero meshed all the parts now it's time for the poly painting for that i am using skin shade 4 material then i'm just selecting the color and going to the color option and there is a button called fill co fill color so you can just apply the color onto the model or you can paint choose a paint brush which will help you to paint out certain areas or shades which you want for that you just have to select the colors and using paint brush you can apply the shades and all so by this we will move on to the next video which will be the presentation presentation part of this pig's character and here is the final model thank you so much for watching the full video and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the brown bear animation channel see you in the next video